Train Time, which is my favorite show. Uh, if you can't tell, Steve, Steve Campos Plo, is the one who has the camera there. These are the con tapes from uh, the 2008 Starman the Night Convention. You probably remember several months ago me talking about these and the need to capture them. I'm doing it today. It's been months, and I feel terrible because there's been all of these events where I've seen Jeff Benson, who's the person that's putting together the Earthbound USA documentary, and I still have never had a chance to do it because I've just been so busy. So today, um, I said, you know what? I'm relatively out of things to do because I don't have anything to record today. The next recording stuff is going to require Mal. Um, I'm in the process of getting a ton of stuff off of the computer because I was out of space. So I was like, I had five gigs, and I'm like, all right. So that's why I got these expansion drives out, and they've, I'm, I'm putting s stuff onto them so I can get some stuff off my computer. And I was like, I'm going to capture this, these tapes today. So I am. And uh, it's, it's fun because it's capturing in real time, so I, I actually get to relax and watch it and relive everything that happened uh, seven years ago. But it's finally going to be done. I'm finally going to be able to give uh, this stuff to Jeff, who can use it potentially in the documentary. Uh, the only thing I'm sad about is I've never found the 2007 con. Don't know where it is. I still feel like Steve has it. He doesn't know if he has it or not, but I, I have searched high and low here and in my parents' house, and there, I never found it. So, By the way, hello everyone, and welcome to Friday. Uh, honestly, pretty good day so far. Uh, I am... I'm feeling pretty happy just from all of the stuff I've got done, the stuff that I'm projected to do, like the looking ahead. So, and any day that I get to lay and relax on the couch while watching old videos, that's a good day. So I finished capturing the con tapes, and unfortunately, from what I can tell, I don't think there's anything in there that's going to be particularly usable for the documentary, but I'll probably give it to Jeff anyway and say, you know, good luck! And, you know, if maybe there's something that will at least make you laugh. There was one other tape that I had sat with those con tapes that was still unlabeled. That I just, I guess, never got a chance to get around to or whatever. And I just put it in. And it's from January 2008. And it's Mal and Stephanie walking around the Stevens Point campus in Wisconsin. And I have no idea why. And Mal doesn't know why. Why was this, why does this exist? I don't remember. I was hoping that at the beginning of the video they would explain it, but they're just like, we're going to give you a tour. And they don't really explain why they're giving a tour. So they're just walking around. Filming stuff. It's kind of like a vlog. Kind of. Except it's really bad. It is really bad. That is, that is for sure. Um, well, at least now I can label it and put it back on the shelf. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't get anything like super usable out of the uh, the con footage. Although, let me um, let me at least show you super young Stephen and Mallory. Mallory? <laughs> super tall dude. <laughs> so, how is everything going? Yeah. What do you want to do? I don't know. Get crunk! I'll give you five minutes. So how was the beach? Great. It was cold. Is it made of sand? Yeah, this one. I love it. Okay, that's all. You're free to go. <laughs> that's funny. You uh, are better about being on camera now. Yeah. In 2008, Less so. <laughs> um, it's actually funny because this was all filmed on my tapes with my, you know, camera. But I don't film, I think I don't film once. Or if I do, it's for just a few minutes. Um, Steve filmed the entire thing. It's weird. I guess I must have um, wanted Steve to take over filming because I, I, our relationship was young. I had been dating Mao at that, at that point for four months. Um... So I guess I just wanted, you know, Steve to take care of the camera so I could hang out with Mal. Um, it's weird to see that because, like, we're together and we had been, to, you know, dating for four months and now we've been together for ever. 
seven and a half years. So times have changed. But yeah, that's a a little look at pre-vlog footage that exists of Mao and I, which I don't think we've ever shown before. Several hours later and it's time for bed, and I could not remember if I had ended today's vlog or not. And to be honest, that's a bad sign. That tends to happen when my days are running together, and that can happen because of several reasons. For now, it seems like it's, it's happening because all of my days feel identical. And when vlogs are so far behind, and I'm not editing stuff that just happened, um, it doesn't help. Because it doesn't help me differentiate what the heck is going on. So I actually wasn't sure if I filmed this or not. I had to check, and I have not. Uh, this evening was eventful though. We did get things done. Uh, we have not yet, we had not yet started the To The Moon DLC, the little mini-sodes, and we did those tonight, and they're very good. In fact, they were far more than what I was expecting. I was just expecting like a little like, oh, here's this characters you liked. But no, it was like actual story stuff, which was awesome. I was not expecting that and was blown away by that. We still have not started the bird story, but we're going to be doing that probably Sunday. Still a lot of work to be done. Still a lot of work to, to do to catch up. But you know, when people ask me, because now vlogs have gotten be behind to the point where it's... It's bad, I guess. Uh, although, I released a vlog today and I get another one done so there will be one tomorrow. Um, I think about it kind of like a train. Like imagine there's a train going and you want to be alongside the train. You want to ride the train. But sometimes the train gets away from you. If you're releasing one vlog a day, then the train is keeping the same speed as you. The train is hitting its brakes. You have to be releasing more than one vlog a day for the train to start going in reverse or for you to speed up far enough to get close to the train again. Like if you're not posting two vlogs a day in order to catch up, then you're not actually catching up. If you're just releasing one a day, then you're only staying even. So to, tomorrow will be the first time in a while that I've posted two vlogs back to back. And uh, it's, it's, it's not good. It's not good. But people have asked me, they said, you know, how do you feel about being, you know, you're, go you're going on like two months behind on vlogs. And my thinking is, you know, are you enjoying them? You know, all the grease vlogs, all the crazy stuff we did on vacation? There's a reason the vlogs are taking forever to edit and they, you know, they're, they're so hard to produce. You know, are you enjoying them? Then don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I understand that people have this innate idea that they really want to be caught up on what's going on now. But when I know that there's not a whole lot going on right now, it doesn't matter. Um, vlogs will get caught up. I'm recording this right now in mid-August, and you guys may not get it until much later. But it's okay. It's alright. We are providing interesting content for you guys to, to see. It takes a lot of time to produce, and we hope that you appreciate it when you get it. And uh, eventually things will get caught back up. I'm not worried about that at all. I know it'll happen. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow, Michael is back in town. I think we're going to grab dinner with him, and then he may, you know, stop by for a bit and play some games or something. So that'll be fun. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we? Which pop singer's poster did Princess Fiona have up on her wall in Shrek 2? Oh, Lord. This is yours, Jarrett. <laughs> the big Shrek 2 fan. <laughs> Man. You come to high school every day in that Shrek 2 shirt. You say, guys, let me tell you this donkey quote I heard. So this is all on you, buddy. Uh. It's okay, little buddy. Oh, my God.